Yo guys, what is going on? It is your boy Nick from the Foot Market. Happy Wednesday. It is Team of the Week day, so we will have a new Team of the Week dropping in about, I think, 15 minutes, I think it is. Yeah, about 15 minutes from now. Um, so nothing really regarding that. Uh, but today's video, we're going to do a little bit of a market update. I'm going to talk to you guys about where I think the market's going in the next few days. Uh, because I know a lot of you guys like to hear me talk about windows and, and things like that, of when you can get in, when you can get out of investments. So I'm going to give you guys that today. If you guys enjoyed the video, just drop me a thumbs up. Um, and yeah, let's get into it. Also, let me know in the comments down below. It would be very helpful if you guys could get in the comments. How many coins do you have if you sold everything? If you guys sold everything in your club, how many coins would you have right now? That's something that I've been wondering uh, from a lot of you guys. So just let me know where you guys are in terms of that. And uh, yeah, let's get into the video. So the market today is doing all right. I sold some cards last night. The icon market last night was extremely low. I wouldn't be surprised if we went off up and check today if it's up a little. This is probably when I was on last night buying a little bit. It probably so went up this morning and I was coming back down a little bit again. So it was really, really low last night. I got some deals. I could have bought realistically. I could have bought 10 Lothar Matthias for like 1.45, 1.46, 1.47. He was so freaking low last night. I only bought two or three. Uh, so I kind of caved out of that a little bit. He got really, really low last night. I don't know where he is right now. Yeah, he's back at 157. So mine's the cheapest right now. So, But I'm just telling you, he that's what I always take advantage of. Like when players go really, really low, even Yashin, I've never even traded with Yashin. Uh, all I know is that Yashin is really rare. And last night, Yashin, I got like one at 650. And one at like 700. So I was able to flip those and do well with those overnight. So that's kind of what I did overnight. A lot of times I have this like pet peeve for me personally, where I like to, whether it's whether it's icons, whatever it is, I like to almost like buy cards before I go to sleep because I feel like I like to have cards listed overnight, potentially making me profit rather than not have any cards listed. So that's kind of like a big thing that I do personally. Um, so what we're going to talk about today in the video though, is kind of market and where I think it's going to go and something that I'm interested in doing right now. So a lot of you guys, uh, got in with blue card investments with me last week. Um, and we did really well. I think a lot of us did really well. Like I bought, I probably made a million coins on UCLs last week. I filled my club probably about six or six, five, six mil worth. So made about a 20% return on the investment, which was really good. They all got a 20% rise. Uh, I'm still sitting here with some blues that I invested in, and they're still kind of the same price, like Gaia. Um, and I bought some other players. Like, let me go check on the market what their prices are. But I got like 10 guys for like 11K. So I have like things like that that I just have not really gotten rid of yet. So that kind of stuff for me is going to be a sell Thursday after awards. They're 12K right now. Um, and then Thursday after awards, they're going to become next level rare because what's going to happen is that um, they are going to essentially, boys, they're going to, they're going to be off the, they're going to be off the market a lot, a lot more because they're going to be in people's teams. I think last week was a big sell-off period. Uh, and that's why you're seeing now they're a little bit, you know, they're, they're starting to, they're starting to not really go up he, that much. Some of the ones that didn't go up last week are the ones that drop back down, but they're starting to starting to get rare and you're starting to see that. So that's something that's a good sign for me. I was just looking at this Jovic dude, uh, because I had stacked up for Bundesliga. I always do like you guys know I do team of the week investing. I do discard inform investing for me. I'm heading into the upcoming next few promos with just a ton of discard informs. I probably have 40 in my club. So I probably have 400k worth of informs chilling in my club, which is something that I am really big on. I think it's very important at all times to have a lot of these cards in your club. I reinvested in Zeller last week and I think he's back up to like 17k. He's back at 16k. So I'm actually going to sell him. Um, this was a player that I had reinvested in when he was getting panic sold. And this is a guy that I think is needed for like Bundesliga player of the month or he very much helps out. So that's why you're seeing him rebound a lot. Um, and that's the kind of stuff that I do this stuff for. Like it's, it's just stuff that you can put in your club and it's like, you make 6k a card. Like this Jovic guy, this guy will be 15k for Bundesliga player of the month hype because he's the front runner right now. Um, and he's going to do really well there. So what I wanted to do as well on the video today was also wanted to look at some UCLs because I'm very much personally considering stacking my club back up with UCL cards. Um, I'm not sure right now if I do or don't like the prices. So you can, you guys can see a lot of them are the higher tier ones are definitely back up in value, but I'm looking into like guys like, oh, honestly, Neuer. I mean, the the bigger ones have all, it seems the bigger ones have all kind of climbed back up a little bit in value. This would be interesting to see this Pogba, depending on if he's in team of the week or not. Um, ever since his performance, he's been pretty low. There was a 720 a few hours ago, so he was lower last night. Um, that's not a great buy. I'm just interested to see with some of these guys, like I'm not sure if Salah, Salah may or may not be in team of the week. Was he up higher? No, he wasn't higher. So I think if you're going to reinvest, and this is what I wanted to talk about. If you guys want to delve back in 
Because the point of this video is to tell you guys that you guys can still buy stuff today. What I'm trying to tell you is that I want you guys to sell all your stuff by Thursday or Friday morning. I want you guys to like take the profit on everything and, and be happy that you guys are selling at that time. That's what I really want this video to tell you guys is that you can still buy things right now before rewards. Um, but I think that I think that you're best off selling most of it at reward time. I wouldn't wait much longer than reward time. Um, what I want to look at is I'm trying to like figure out today. Do I want to stack some players back in my club? Uh, they have to be at certain prices. But I'm not against doing that. They'd have to be at a really good price. Like I'm going to watch this Marcelo on Bibi because I do want to get a Marcelo for this Thursday. I think he's going to be 400 plus. So that's going to be something that can make me some coins. Uh, I don't like 373 necessarily. Um, so that's something that I would be looking to do if you guys have some extra coins. I would be looking to actually club restock your blues. That could be something that if you did flip a ton of blues last Thursday, if you guys want to go ahead and maybe restock on some ones that you see that aren't up a ton. It'd have, it'd have to be ones that aren't up a ton. Like I don't want you guys buying cards that have rebounded already to half of what they were a few weeks ago. Look for the cards that maybe haven't rebounded a ton and cards that I think that you guys think that have good weekly demand. That's another thing. They have to have the point of the blues rising during rewards is that they have good weekly demand. People are people are playing with them in the weekly league and that's why you're seeing them rise because obviously if player the the point of investments at the end of the day guys is because we're we're buying players that people are putting in their weekly league teams. That's that long story short, at the end of the day, that is what we do all this stuff for. We are buying players that people are slotting into their weekly team. So that's something that I want to point out to you guys and just get you guys to be uh, understanding of. SBC wise today, I don't think anything. Screen promotion should end uh, today. We can briefly talk about the team of the week. I know you guys like to talk about team of the week. Not loving any of this. I think the only two things that go up at rewards tomorrow is probably Lewandowski and Martial. That's probably what I'm thinking. Um, DeVarie is a tough one. Lala could go up. Duffy's going to hit 15 out of packs. Pickford's not bad. I'm personally not investing in any of this team of the week. Just so you guys know, I want you guys to be on the same page as me. Same thing goes with the screams. I mean, what you could do for screams, pick up discard informs. You have some past team of the weeks being panic sold. Arnautovich is down to 48. Buy is at 109. These cards will not be these prices tomorrow after rewards. Um, those will be higher. I would like to look at Mbappe. Mbappe's at 860. So Mbappe for me, guys, is that a, is that on the market? <laughs> uh, that's a low price. It's less than 21 minutes ago, so I doubt it. But damn, that's a big undercut. I don't think that's on the market. Somebody had to have bought that. At, like the literally the next cheapest is 920. That's crazy. Um, so a little tip though, guys, is usually when Flippin does something like that, where they have the price of him like that. Sometimes you'll see people not even looking on console at their cheapest price and they will just list under that So definitely sometimes use that in your advantage uh, to make some coins sometimes I've seen that time and time again where people have just been idiotic about it Ho it is at 45 out of packs because the 84 rated inform um, That's crazy Icardi's looking pretty low right now um, I have to say Icardi is looking very low right now He's about 180 last Thursday So this is looking really 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 low right now I think some people think he might get in team of the week but I don't think he's supposed to um, I'm going to take a look at this I am going to take a look at this. I don't think he's in team of the week. Where is his price? So he's pretty low right now. He's pretty low. What is about 150? That's pretty low, guys. 150 for a card. He's low. So that could be something that I could I could pick up now and probably stack in my club and make like 30k on. 100%, man. That that's pretty low, guys. Um for a card. So that's this is the stuff that I would be doing. I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to do this right now because I want to keep some coins for icons today. But there are definitely some things that are pretty low. I also want to look at this situation right here. This is something that is very interesting to me. And I want you guys to let me know in the comments below. Do you guys think that this is something that's going to work? Royce goes out of... Royce is done in two days. His player of the month is over. I'm wondering if this inform Royce goes up after this player of the month Royce is done. Because before player of the month Royce, inform Royce was like 390k. And the same thing happened with Eden Hazard's Team of League 1. Eden Hazard's Team of League 1 rebounded like crazy when that... Uh, when the, not when the SBC was over, but when the SBC started to kind of die down a little bit. So I would, I would be very interested to see if that is a solution or something that could work uh, similar to this. We've also got what? We've got Team League 2. Team League 2 is sitting low right now. Exactly. This is what I'm saying, guys. Some of these Team of the Weeks are going to not be these prices tomorrow. So Insigne hit 220 last weekend. He's now what? 184? There's no way in hell that card is still 184 tomorrow. And there's no way in hell Benny Enders 130. I'm telling you guys right now. There's no way at rewards tomorrow that those two guys are those prices. Let's take a look at Team of League One. If Team of League One is low, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a look. So Timo Werner is a little low. Timo Werner is actually low for his standards. Um, 
It looks like at least. It looks like Timo's back down a little bit, which is interesting. Um, Timo was a guy that hit, I think, 250 last weekend. Timo's interesting to me. I mean, look, 250 hit last weekend. I think with any of these guys, if you could get back in before rewards and ideally make 30K, that's worth your time. Other than that, if you cannot make 30K, I wouldn't do it. So Timo's at what? Two that's tempting. See, boys, 223 is tempting. 223 is a lot different than 228. I might go for a Timo. We might have to go for a Timo. We may just have to go for a Timo. All right, you know what, guys? We're going to go for a Timo Werner. Ah, that was a good price, man. Why did I not buy it? All right, so, and the plan on these guys would be I'm going to be selling these guys Thursday afterwards. So I'd be selling these guys up. Um, I'd be selling these guys tomorrow. Uh, probably two, two or three hours after rewards. I never have like a certain sell time that I like to do it at. Probably two or three hours. Insignia at 185. See, that's tempting, man. I'm someone, yo, someone is out here with me right now. I'm telling you guys, like this stuff is, this is what I, this is my bread and butter in past FIFAs. I used to just, literally dudes, I used to buy cars that were out of packs before rewards. And boom, when the rewards came, they were up like crazy. That's, this was like one of my number one things that I used to do. Uh, with making coins. I would always buy these guys a few days before any kind of reward set or anytime I thought they were really low and I would just go in on them. Like this one is the most interesting for me is this Lucas Hernandez card because this guy is the best card to trade with. He was 180 last weekend. I think this weekend he'll get close to 200. Um, damn. So yesterday when I was on the market, he was 150K. So now he's back up to 165. So he was a lot lower yesterday on the market than he is today. So that's something very interesting as well to look at. Damn. He rebounded really, really quickly, man. That's crazy. Um, okay, so interesting. That that guy's not selling. Yeah, Shin's not selling for the full hour at that price. Interesting, interesting, interesting. So we've got this Marcelo coming up on bid as well. Um, we should have Team of the Week coming out in literally a minute. So we could look at that together as you guys get into the... We're going to do a Team of the Week investment video tonight. I'm going to have that for you guys tonight. Um, so let's see what's up here. So we got one minute until Team of the Week. Um, I, people are saying on Twitter, there's been a lot of leaks, man, which has been pissing me off. I don't like leaks at all, man. I don't look at leaks. I don't like it at all. But I saw like even last night people were tweeting out about like no Ronaldo. That's going to be really interesting to see if Cristiano Ronaldo like just gets flown back up in price or back down in price because Ronaldo was like four mil his OTW and he's not in team of the week now. So let's see. Oh boy. Three, five, five. Here we go. This is about to drop. I might have to get a Ronaldo today, man. If he goes down to like three mil. Or 3-1, I'm going to probably get one. It's 10 o'clock. All right, let's see, boys. It's 10 o'clock. I'm going to take you guys over to my web browser, and we can look at Team of the Week together. So, EA has not tweeted about Team of the Week yet. Uh, have they tweeted about it yet? They have not tweeted about Oh! It's not. Guys, I'm an idiot. All right? It's not released for another hour. Team of the Week is not released for another hour because of the clock change, I believe, within Europe uh, or England specifically. So, there's no Team of the Week yet. Um, I'm just telling you guys what I'm reading off Twitter. So a lot of people were expecting team of the week to come and it's not out yet. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to keep, wa I'm going to keep watching this Ronaldo situation today though. Boys, this might be the day I pick up an OTW Ronaldo. This thing, if it goes to a certain price, I'm going to have to strike on it because that's just, you know what I'm saying, boys? If that's just, uh, you know what I'm saying, boys? So th that's probably something I might have to look into today. We'll see if we can go for it. I'm not sure if it's going to be able to be something that I really like. I've got to really like it because you guys have to understand with a guy like Cristiano Ronaldo, that's a player that's very, very expensive. So me going into that kind of investment is a big commitment. So I have to make sure I'm getting a really good price because if I'm going into Ronaldo for the, an investment this weekend, I have to be making at least 200 to 500K on this card. If I'm making less than that, it's not worth it because I could be making a ton more with other icons and a ton more with other things. So that's kind of like how I always look at things and I'm like, yo, I have to make this amount to, to buy this. So guys, this has been the Market Watch video today. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Um, if you guys did drop a thumbs up, um, and thank you guys for watching. I'm going to have probably another upload for you guys today. I'm not positive yet. We had a double upload yesterday, really good uploads. And then I'm not going to talk really about black Friday yet. I do not want to talk about black Friday yet, but I'm going to probably start that up this weekend or next week. Uh, you guys should be looking forward to that. I do a big series every, every year and this year it's going to be really good. I'm going to make a ton of concept squads. We're going to be looking at constantly a gold market, an icon market, everything. We're going to be looking at all these markets on one video every single day. We're going to be doing market updates. Black Friday watches. That's what we're doing, man, uh, for like two or three weeks. So it's going to be really, really good. Uh, and I'm glad you guys are enjoying the content recently. And thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys in the video soon. Peace out. <laughs>